So most of the time we are asked to evaluate a line integral. We're not so lucky to have the arc length parameter. Most of the time we're going to be asked to evaluate a scalar line integral with respect to an arbitrary parameter t. So here we need to convert our definition of a scalar line integral with respect to s, the arc length, to some arbitrary parameter t. So here we go. We have suppose that we have a parameterized curve C with a arbitrary parameter T that is not equal to the arc length. So in other words, our parameterization C is defined by the vector valued function R of T, where R of T's components are X of T, Y of T, such that T is greater than or equal to A, less than or equal to B. So let's plug this into our definition. So we have the integral over C of f ds, so the, uh, the line integral with respect to arc length. And when we plug these new parameters in, we have the integral over C of the function f of x of t, y of t, ds. And you should be uncomfortable. This is danger. You should stop. And why is this dangerous, you might be asking? Well, look at the variables. We have a parameter t, but our differential is with respect to s still. So we need to convert ds. So you see now why the differential is so important. If we just substituted t in, we'd have the wrong form. We wouldn't be getting the correct line integral. So let's convert the differential. So by the arc length formula, or excuse me, by the arc length function that we saw back in section 12.8, we know that the length of a curve over the interval from a to t is defined as the function s of t from the integral over a to t of the magnitude of the tangent vector with respect to some arbitrary u, du. So, using this, we can now apply the fundamental theorem. So, by the fundamental theorem of calculus, we can now take this arc length function from section 12.98, and we can differentiate this with respect to t. So I'm going to take the derivative of both sides of this with respect to t. And what this leaves us with is ds dt, right? the derivative of arc length with respect to the arbitrary parameter t. And this is equal to, by the fundamental theorem of calculus, the magnitude of the tangent vector with respect to t. So again, remember, we're, we're trying to solve for ds. So to do that, all we need to do is isolate ds. So we can multiply both sides of this expression by dt, which leaves us with the differential ds is equal to the magnitude of the tangent vector with respect to t, dt, which is exactly what we need. So now we can officially go ahead and rewrite the original line integral with respect to the arc length s. Now in terms of that arbitrary parameter, T. So again, we had the line integral over C of S dS, which we rewrote in terms of that arbitrary parameter T. So we had F of X of T, Y of T, and then we had that dangerous dS. But we're going to now replace that dS with what we just found. So this becomes the line integral over C of the function f x of t, y of t, and we replace that ds with the magnitude of the tangent vector with respect to t, dt. And so this is the official line integral form for a scalar valued function in terms of an arbitrary parameter t.